you heard that soy is dangerous? Have you heard that it can cause cancer? Have you heard that young men shouldn't consume soy because it can feminize them? This is completely false and I know it's all over the internet and I've definitely written blogs on this before. This is Dr. Vicki Peterson, but I feel like we have to keep talking about it because soy has so many benefits. Now, it's not a natural food that we eat here in the United States, uh, unlike in Asia where uh, tempeh and tofu is, is more an integral part of their diet. Uh, and, and it's true, soy can definitely be given a bad name from the fact that the crops here in the U.S. are mostly well, a lot of them are glyphosate laden, which is awful. So do understand I'm talking about organic soy, first of all, uh, but the bioactive part of soy, genistein, is fabulous for helping starve cancer. So when you have, we all have cancer cells, but uh, and they're basically inactive, nothing's going to happen until they get a blood supply. And boy, once they get a blood supply, off they go and they can spread uh, very dramatically and very quickly. So genistein is known to sort of starve that blood supply so the cancer can't take off. And cell here, a cell there, it's not gonna do anything to you. Um, you know, it's a phyto, it's called a phytoestrogen, which is a plant estrogen. But when you look at the phytoestrogen in soy compared to the human estrogen, the, the chemicals look nothing alike. They don't act alike. In fact, they're, the phytoestrogen, the plant estrogen from soy, acts to inhibit the, the human uh, estrogen as far as binding sites are concerned. So it's very protective. And that's the point I want to get across is that the phytoestrogen in organic soy is highly protective against cancer. Um, they did a very large epidemiological study in Japan, over 5,000 women with breast cancer. So these are women that already had breast cancer and those consuming um, adequate amounts of soy, which was just 10 milligrams, it was just uh, 10 milligrams of soy protein, which is enough, about the amount found, found in a cup of soy milk. Uh, they had a 29% decreased risk of death. Now, appreciate the fact they already had breast cancer. And then for those who had their cancer cut out, uh, there was a 32% decreased risk of it returning. But, so that's once again, the, a group that already has the cancer, uh, but when you look at Asia in particular and Japan, they tend to, if you look at countries around the world, better said, uh, those that consume uh, a decent amount of soy tend to naturally have lower incidence of cancer, uh, particularly breast cancer, but generally speaking, lower incidence of cancer. And it is from this genistein, which is the the, the bioactive found in soy. And there's bioactives found in a lot of different uh, foods. I'm gonna be doing uh, videos on, on other foods as they come up, but it's something that I've sort of been <laughs> trying to educate uh, about for, for several years now. But, but patient after patient after patient comes in and says, and I don't eat soy because I know how dangerous that is, and I don't feed soy to my children. I know how danger it is, dangerous it is. And certainly from an organic standpoint, not dangerous, actually healthy. So uh, fermented soy, things like tempeh and shoyu and natto, I have never tasted. You've probably heard me say this before if you listen to most of my videos. Um, I've, I've heard it's awful, other people tell me it's delicious, but it's a fermented uh, aspect of soy. Uh, so it's soy sauce and shoyu, and, and if you're gluten intolerant, you can get soy sauce without wheat, uh, tempeh, and then there's tofu, there is soy milk. Um, fermented is better, but you know, if you, can, if, if you can't tolerate any of that, then definitely try the unfermented. And we're only talking about uh, 10 milligrams as a, as a minimum dose to sort of help with this, preventing the blood cells uh, from cancer to, to spread and get a blood supply. So it's known to kind of starve those, those um, cancer cells from, from gaining uh, rigorous blood supply, which is something we definitely are interested in. So I hope you found this helpful and please spread the word. <laughs> it's gonna take a while, I know, because 
it's kind of been infiltrated that soy is bad, but the science just doesn't support it. So there's, there's opinions and then there's the science. So we like to stick with the science and that's what it says. And if your health is not the way you want it to be, you want some assistance, please reach out. That's why we're here. You can visit the website, Root Cause Medical Clinics, that's with an S, dot com, or give me a call, 408-733-0400. Our team is here to help, and we specialize in getting to the root cause of your symptoms, and I look forward to hearing from you.